O is for obstacles. Are you ready for an obstacle on the trail or before you get there? Hi, I'm Robert and this good looking guy is Ruger and we are trail riding, camping and packing at home. You say it man, you say it. During most years I spend the summer trail riding and horse camping. From front country glamping to pack trips deep into wilderness areas. The rest of the year I lead trail riding and horse camping clinics across the U.S. and even internationally where I share my knowledge to help you escape the arena and enjoy the great outdoors. This episode is brought to you by the letter O as well as Troxel helmets, B&W trailer hitches, and scratch and all. Many thanks to everyone that keeps Trailmeister possible. Hi, are you ready for an obstacle? He's like, oh boy, yes he is. Well, I planned on doing a whole thing on saws and why we should carry them on the trail for obstacles, but didn't quite get there today. Ruger and I, we needed to do some work on standing still while being saddled and just standing still in general. So instead of jumping into something that neither of us were ready for, we decided to just yeah, work the front on again. patience and standing still. It takes as long as it takes, and today it took a little bit longer than I had originally anticipated, but that's okay because we can always use, we can always use timeouts and practice and remedial lessons, can't we, Bubba? Ruger is a good boy. Love him to death, but sometimes we get a little ahead of ourselves, don't we? And walk. Good boy. Good boy. So obstacles aren't always what we think they're going to be. I thought we were going to talk about saws and clearing trees from the trail as obstacles. But instead, the obstacle is just getting our clothes on, being nice and quiet and polite. That's a big enough obstacle before we even hit the trail. Rather than tie them up, I think it's much, much better just to, to work it out. We have nothing but time on our hands. And I think it's better for him and me to work through these little issues at home before we get out on the trail or use some kind of a crutch, like tying him to the trailer or tying him to a hitching rail just to get through it. If I can't put all of his clothes on like this, nice and quietly, then Ruger's not trained well enough. Now, I created the problem because I had let myself get into a rush earlier in the year, and I've taught him that he can get away with it. So now I have to teach him that he can't, and I have to be consistent. And I think anytime we work with these critters, that's what it's all about, us being consistent. <laughs> us being consistent and fair, right? Thanks for watching. Stick around for the next episode when we talk about the letter P. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy. What do you think, Bubba? What do you think? Uh -huh -huh. As always, for more information on trail riding and camping with horses, please give us a visit at trailmeister.com.